Well, good afternoon. Actually, let me check here. Yeah, it is afternoon. It's afternoon down here at the Ark Encounter. I tell you what, there's a lot of people down here today. You'd think it was summer already with the number of people that are here at the Ark uh, here uh, in March. And we know that April is going to be through the roof in May, June, July. Uh, we've uh, got a lot of young people here, so it's exciting to see. But I have a special guest with me here today, and it's the president of Bob Jones University, one of the few universities in the world that takes a stand on God's Word beginning in Genesis. And this is Dr. Steve Pettit. Hey, welcome to the Ark Encounter. Thank you, Ken. It is a, a joy to be here. We had you at our place just a few weeks ago, and now we, we're trading places, and this is a, a tremendous blessing. So... As you came up, you, you haven't been to the Ark before, I know you've been to the Creation Museum right. before, but as you came up the, from the valley, and the first time you see the Ark, I mean, what went through your mind? Well, for me personally, it's just a testimony to God, as I think of the fact that there was another man who built an Ark named Noah, and it was a testimony to who God is in the world. As I come here, it's just a testimony of the faithfulness of God and His promises, and that there are people who believe in Him. And, you know, we're thrilled that you're here because I, I, I get so burdened for... You saw all the young people here today. In fact, there'll probably be some walking behind us here in a moment. Children, young people, a lot of young people. In fact, the predominant uh, group that visits here are uh, basically adults with teenagers mm -hmm. and children, and then a lot of 55s and olders as well that bring their grandchildren. Uh, but as I see all those young people, I'm burdened because in the public education system and through uh, your secular education system, they're being taught there's no God, they're taught evolutionary ideas, basically uh, the religion of atheism imposed on one. And most Christian colleges compromise God's word with evolution of millions of years. But yes. you don't do that at no, Bob Jones, do no, you? No, no, we actually believe in the inspiration of the scripture, which means it's from God and therefore it's authoritative in all manners of practice and doctrine and life and faith and what it says about history and so we embrace the six-day literal creation at Bob Jones University. I was really impressed with your science faculty too. I mean all your faculty but I interviewed the science faculty especially when I was there and uh, just uh, their knowledge and their standard of excellence in regard to uh, not just academia, but in regard to their stand on the Word of God and teaching students a Christian worldview. Yes, yeah, a tremendous balance between science and that they are, they all 22 have PhDs from uh, universities all over the world and all of them are six-day literal creationists because they're all believers and they accept the authority of Scripture. And your Bible faculty do too, right? All of them do, of <laughs> course. They wouldn't work there if they didn't. It's, it's a wonderful university. If anyone is considering a university as a creationist, college, a creationist university uh, for their child. Uh, look at the top comment. We pinned there a link to Bob Jones University. I was there recently, spoke at three conferences, got yes. a tremendous response. You got some of the, uh, your staff here. Some uh, We might just uh, say hello to them yes. and I want to get their, their comments here. So first of all, we have here Sam Horn. Yes. And your position is? I'm the Executive Vice President for Enrollment and for Ministerial Advancement. So what do you think of the ARC? Oh, it's fabulous. I told somebody it's, it's as much for the believer as it is an apologetic for an unbeliever because when you come in here if you're not really familiar with the Old Testament story or if you really sort of have a little bit of doubt about that you come here and you see this and it's amazing. It, it is amazing. Well let's uh, find out who else we have here. Hi, I'm Beverly Cormican, Vice Provost for Strategic Initiatives and my first impression uh, was back in September and it was, uh, it was overwhelming. It was like the Bible coming to life right before my eyes and thinking about what a wonderful resource it would be you know, for children as well as right. adults. It is the Bible coming to life right before our very eyes. And tell me what this is. I see this is on all, most of your shirts. What is this? This is a Bruin from Bob Jones what University. What is a Bruin? A Bruin is a bear. Oh, okay. We're the real Bruins. So like I have some my... mornings when I wake up. <laughs> yeah, I, we won't speak to that particular issue. So, so you're, you are? I'm Gary Weir. I'm Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost at Bob Jones University. And this is your first time here? First time here. I've been to the Creation Museum so, many times. But, so what do you think of this? Well, it doesn't matter what your expectations are coming into it. And of course, we heard you describe it when you were on campus, and right. you, you really described it well. But you have to see it to really appreciate yep. the magnitude of this and the testimony to Scripture it is and, and the presentation of the Gospel that's a part of it. It is a phenomenal place, isn't it? And uh, so what do you do? I'm David Jones. I work with the University on Strategic Planning and on Marketing. Oh, okay. So, What do you think about marketing? Uh, I think it's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the crowds, that you, look at the crowds that you have here. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, crowds, it's, it's, clear, exactly. it's clearly worked. It's clearly yeah. worked. And it's a, it's a fabulous uh, 
place. I, I, I'm just blown away. All I can think of is the faith that Noah must have had. Yeah, can you, and when can you, you walk that? inside, and it just it becomes so real, his right. faith to do I mean, this. Think, the whole world had rebelled, and only Noah and his family went on board that ark. And yet I look around here, and look at all these people coming from yeah. all over the world yeah. and all across America. And, and uh, we only just started spring. It's incredible. Uh, Don't miss it. <laughs> Don't miss it. Well, we have another uh, faculty member here too. Yes? yes. Uh, staff, actually. I'm director staff. of marketing for Bob Jones. Oh, director of marketing? Yes. Okay. So, uh, your first impressions? Uh, absolutely spectacular. I've had a lot of people come back and tell me that it's bigger than you can imagine and more amazing than you can imagine. So, I was expecting big things. It blew me away. Better than I could have imagined. See, that's a good marketing line. I there like you that. Go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the part of what we say on our website. Think bigger. And that's our campaign, actually, for the ARC. Think bigger. The amazing thing to me was uh, just the testament to the authority of Scripture, the way that you have presented the gospel so clearly and openly. Uh, it's just fantastic to see. I praise the Lord for everything you're doing here. Hey, thank you. Thank you. And really, it is uh, an evangelistic thrust. You know what? We make no excuse uh, in re and, and no, no apology for the fact that we present the gospel here. That's what we do. We present the gospel clearly. We present the authority of the word. Hey, Dr. Paddock, before we close off here, I know that we're sharing this on the Bob Jones University Facebook page too. So what would you like to say to any of your people that are watching that? Well, first of all, uh, Answers in Genesis and Bob Jones University are linked together because of what we believe. Mm -hmm. And those of you that buy, who believe in creationism, Bob Jones University is a place you need to look into because that's really at the foundation, the core of our school. With our student body, that's our focal point. So we'd love for you to visit us in Greenville, South Carolina, or go to bju.edu. And if you look at the top comment, we've pinned there a direct link to Bob Jones University. And what do you think of our little restaurant over oh, here? Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> great, great lunch. 1,500 seat restaurant. That's and we great. have that uh, wonderful buffet now. Behind here, we have a village that we're opening Memorial Day weekend. It'll be open for Memorial Day. Might even be open a little bit earlier than that. Might be open uh, towards the end of April, actually. But I don't want to give any promises there. And then we have another village on the other side under construction. And uh, we just opened that big new exhibit. You saw that big graphic novel approach to presenting oh, it was, the gospel. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. And we just opened that. And uh, actually, we had a number of our children graduate from Bob Jones University. Three. I know you had three children there, so it was a blessing. That's why I feel like we're so closely aligned together. You know, there's not many universities these days that are prepared to take a stand on Genesis because you'll get mocked at, you'll get scoffed at, you'll be called anti-science, anti-academic. But I tell you, we need more places like this. And there are a handful, but there's not that many. Mm. And I encourage people to check, check mm. out Bob Jones University. Appreciate you bringing Thank you. your Thank staff you, here with you today. Thank you, Ken. And, uh, Appreciate for being it very here. much. Thank and you. We're going to get on that bus there. Well, some of us are going to get on one of the buses here and go back to the Creation Museum and walk them through the Creation Museum. be exciting. So with that, we'll end off from here at the Ark today.